What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Dylan Grubb, Real Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 30,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it. But me and my dad are actually out here on the famous Lake St. Clair, trying to chase after some giant summertime smallmouth bass. We're actually just getting out here. It's around like 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. It's August 4th today, and I think the high is like 84 degrees. It's already pretty warm out this morning. I got my shorts on, a t-shirt. I think it's around like 70 degrees this morning, so we're actually just pulling up to the first spot, and we're trying some top water in super shallow water this morning, so we're gonna probably fish in here for a little while, see if we can find any in shallow water, and then maybe head down towards the Detroit River fish down there for a little while or probably gonna be traveling around the lake trying to find these fish today we might even go over into canada for a little while so should be a pretty fun day really appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for all the fish we catch today well guys me and my dad are actually just pulling up to the first spot of the morning like i said and we are starting out throwing top water and super shallow water up in all the bays here in lake st Clair, we're pretty excited this morning it's super nice it's perfect weather for top water there's a little ripple on the water and we're both throwing top water spooks my dad i'm not sure what brand he has but i'm throwing this guggen top water i've done pretty good over the years on this one right here but i was actually out here last week catching them on top water should be a pretty good morning guys pretty excited to be out here we haven't fished out here in maybe a few weeks or something together me and my dad what we're doing we're just making long casts with these and just walking it back they they call it walking the dog just walk it just like that and let it sit there for two to five seconds maybe even longer sometimes let those ripples get away from the bait and then start moving it again but there's some fish in here right now we're seeing them on our graphs but there's some scattered rocks and some weeds in this little area that we know up here in shallow water so we're gonna give it a try this morning before we go fish some other spots but i think we're gonna get on a few on top water Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, it looks like I've got it on. Fish yeah. on. Get the net. Nice, guys. On the top water. Nice. <laughs> nice, Dad. Good one on the top water. That is sweet, guys. Hammer it. Yay explosion just got out here guys throwing a new top water bait i bought down in smith mountain lake tackle off my buddy it's uh kind of like a spook or whatever but any which way i had one big explosion my first cast and then like the third cast i caught this nice one he's probably three and a half four pounds nice and calm out here little light ripple on the water and we're just getting to our spot and we uh got a good one already been here in what five minutes that's the tank not a giant but he's a good one good three and a half four pounds it's uh -huh. a dandy Oh, good one. Yeah. 
<laughs> really? Oh! Oh! Dang. Oh, I feel like a tank. It was. I don't even know. <laughs> I died. I just had another tank. It was a tank. Dang. It got off right there. He nailed his top water though, dang. He might have to sharpen his hooks or something. <laughs> dang. What? Oh, oh. One just hit my dive like three times. Swing and a miss. miss. <laughs> you didn't get a hook in him, you should hit it again. Yeah. Oh! He nailed it again. You didn't get he, no hook, so he should hit it again. Yeah. Oh, I've seen him come out of the water after it. Oh, keep him pinned. Oh, fish on, guys. <laughs> My dad's on fire on the top water. I haven't even had a hit with mine. Yeah. Getting quite a few hits on top water out here. It's flat, calm out here. Throwing a spook style bait. And it seems like it's working. I had a huge one on, probably a five, five and a half pounder here just 15 minutes ago. And it had it halfway to the boat. I thought he was hooked good, but he came loose. That's the second big fish in two, time, two trips to this spot I've lost. I don't know what's going on, but. Use the underspin guys from Great Lakes Finesse. Like the third cast, I just put it on. What color? The lead color, silver color. He's spitting up all kinds of crowd and stuff. Yeah, and right. he's fighting like crazy. Yeah, he is. My dad's on fire. I haven't even, I got one hit on a top water so far, but that's about it. My dad's caught a few different ones on top water and had some major explosions. He had a really big one on earlier that got off. But this one's a pretty nice one, it yeah. looks like, dang. Yeah. He's bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, on the Great Lakes Finesse Underspin, guys. Dang, he swallowed it. I know, I can't see the bottom. Yeah, me either. Hey. Grab the nut. Nice. Yeah. Nice fish, guys. Good three pounder. Look at it. He inhaled that Great Lakes finesse. You can't even see it. Nice fish. It was only the third cast with it. That Great Lakes finesse underspins work, man. I caught a lot of fish on them. 
and Dylan just got sponsored by him, so that's awesome. But that's a nice fish. He's a good one. Good three and a half, probably he's a fatty. All right, we're gonna turn him loose. Fish on, guys. We just moved probably 20 to 22 miles to the other side of the lake. Uh, he just got off. I'm just throwing this little tiny Great Lakes finesse under spin with the drop minnow, the 3.25 drop minnow. I got the gold blade on there with the white head, but I've caught a lot of fish on this. Me and my dad are actually throwing this on an inland lake for largemouth, and we caught a ton of largemouth on it, so I've never used it out here on St. Clair, but my dad's been throwing these for a little while, and he's caught some good smallmouth on them, so he hit it right away. But like I said, we just moved like 20 miles down by De the Detroit River. And there's a lot of rocks down here, a lot of current, so my dad just had a hit on a top water too. I think he's throwing a top water right now, but we're trying to locate these fish, guys. They're super scattered this time of year in all different depths of water, from shallow water to deep water, everywhere in between. So Nice. Pretty good one. Well, guys, we just moved over into Canada. We were fishing down by the Detroit River for like the last few hours. And we had a few hits down there hooked up into a few. But I just tied on a drop shot, the drop worm from Great Lakes Finesse Baits. And it's a pretty good one. Dang. We just pulled up to a new spot. Me and my dad have never even fished here before, but super cool, guys. It's a good one, too. Dang. Yeah, dang. I'll try to grab it. Nice. Oh, the tank. Dang. He's a fat one, holy crap. That's awesome. Well guys, there's that fish, just a close up of that one, really nice one right there on that Great Lakes Finesse drop worm. And I just started throwing that, guys. We're working in like 15 to 20 foot of water and he nailed it. One of my first casts with it, we just pulled up to this spot. So really nice fish, gonna put him back and hopefully get on some more. to hit it on the fall because I was just I didn't even feel him bite or anything dang it yeah that was a good one it was a really dark one too there's some fish in this area guys over in Canada me and my dad haven't really done a ton of fishing over here in Canada we're trying to 
venture around today and try some new areas that we've never really fished. So we're just moving around a ton today and we're connecting into a few. Another one, guys. <laughs> I'm just throwing that Great Lakes finesse drop worm. It's working really well for me today. This is my third one already, and we're just over here in Canada fishing in like 20 foot of water right now. We've never even fished this area before. I've already hooked up into three fish. Pretty decent for a new area. We haven't even been out here that long. In this area at least. Not a monster, but it's a fish. <laughs> Pretty cool. Fish on. Another little one, but we're finding a few fish and some new areas we've never fished. So it's pretty cool. Again, on that Great Lakes finesse drop worm. That drop worm's working really good for me today. It's like a green pumpkin with purple flake in it. And it's working really good. We're working in 15 foot of water now. We were in 20 foot for the last hour or longer. But we moved into 15 foot a little shallower. And what we're doing, we're just finding weed patches in this deep water and casting around the weeds. And there's smallies on them. Decent one. Pretty cool. Having a ton of fun out here, guys. It's fun fishing new areas that you've never fished for or never fished. Yeah. But I'm going to put this one back and get on a few more. Well, guys, we actually just pulled up to another spot over here in Canada. We're in like 15 to 20 foot of water. And I just started the camera. I casted my rod out and went to turn the camera on and I grabbed my rod and there was one on. Yeah, it's a good one, guys. Right there on that Great Lakes finesse drop worm. That's been the ticket for me today, guys. I bet I'm basically just making long casts and letting it sink to the bottom and just twitching it back um, and it's working that's for sure the smallmouth definitely love drop shot out here that's for sure so if you guys are in the market for any new lures or anything make sure to go check out great lakes finesse and use code extreme 15 for a discount i'd really appreciate it if you guys use my code to support the channel but pretty good one Up. He's throwing the Great Lakes Finesse Helgramite. His first time throwing it. I don't know what he has on, but it is a freaking pig. Is it a smallie? Oh, it was a rock. 
record Somali guys. That's a man seven pounder lake record. That's a giant drum on that helgamite. I put a little bit of shark juice right on the tail of the helgamite. I don't know if you can see it. See it? I put some spike it on there. That was like the very first cast was a lead color one, the green punk one. The hook broke off on the last Somali. I guess it was rusted. And they really get hooked up, don't they? Look at that stuff. Nice one. Caught a few on this today, guys.